I break down Harris's arguments somewhat systematically in the book and then explain why they're wrong. One of the arguments that you just addressed is, is what I call determinism is true, let's all go home. Or determinism is true, there's no, le no room left for free will. And that is the assumption pretty much uh, about what you said, which is the, the, the world is physical, it's governed by physical activities, everything else, our thoughts, our actions and so forth is a consequence of those physical activities. So you can look to the atoms, as you say, and the molecules and the bouncing around of quarks and leptons and everything else. And that's what determines this level that we're talking in and the speech coming out of the sounds coming out of our mouths and so forth. Everything is reduced down to the elemental basic submolecular uh, uh, functioning of atoms and molecules and so forth. It's basically the scientific viewpoint. Uh, so, so that's the one side of it, that everything comes down to uh, atoms and molecules and quarks. And the argument from Harris's point of view and the determinants are how do we get into that? If, if, if physicality must obey the laws of physics, how is this sort of nebulous, non-physical, ethereal, mysterious thing called consciousness, whatever it may be, how does it swoop down and insert itself to actually cause changes in a physical reality that's governed by physical laws. There's no room left. That's yeah. in a sense I've named the argument. The, the other side of it to just amplify on what you said is, is, a, is emergent theory. There's a couple of different kinds, but the kind, the non-reductive kind that you're talking about um, looks at reality as a bunch of ascending levels of uh, complexity and parts get together and form structures. And those higher level structures have rules and they bring forth properties and attributes, none of which are in the lower level parts. Yeah. They incorporate those parts and they involve reactions and interactions among the parts, but there's a whole new structural level that comes into being. And that level uh, can't be reduced to what came before. You can't even describe it in terms of what came before. One of the common examples in the physical realm is that gases, gas behave, gases behave their own rules. Yeah. You know, they have pressure, they have temperature, they have currents and all of that. You can look at an H2O molecule all you want and you can't derive the rules for how gases behave. 